Welcome back everybody, Rudy Alpha Investments, and I hope you're all having a great day. Today, Rudy, I need to know, are these cards real? What's going on? There's something shady going on. Took it to a local, I think he said a, uh, a local cool stuff in Florida. Him and the employees went around about whether it was real or not. So we are going to have a fun, in-depth conversation and then send it back to him. So, all right, everybody. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Let's see what we got here. So I have a funny feeling I already know where this story is going to go. And that is going to be pretty much, these are probably going to be the USA versus Belgium printed variants. And that's probably what's causing this. That's the first thing I always think of right when anything comes up with Mirage. All right, so right off the gate, I can tell you the cards feel, smell, look, um, seem pretty real. Uh, the concern is the backs of the cards, he said. He said the backs don't, they have more of a matte, soft finish. You notice that, like, look at that. Specifically on the Lion's Eye, notice it has kind of a, like a softer finish. So, we're going to pause here, and we're going to kind of, uh, we're going to go through and talk a little bit of history, and let me, let me teach everybody what's going on here. So, obviously, I'm not going to open any boxes to really prove it, because these things are just way, these are like $1,000 boxes at this point in time. So, the first thing we need to discuss is this. All right, so on Mirage, there's not really an alternate Mirage. These boxes were, there was two separate printings that are pretty well known in Mirage. If you look at them, you can see the Made in USA, same Watsi 16522, same ISBN, funny little logos, all this crap. Now, if you look at this one, you'll notice it's a little offset. Sorry, it's, it's kind of a little hidden there. Let's see if I can get that in the camera. That is made, that says made in Belgium. You can't really see it there on the camera. Sorry about that. And of course, it shows the, for the, you know, 2000 USA. It is English Mirage trademarked. Same ISBN number. If you look at it, let's see if we can get it side by side. Can I get it side by side? I'll have to go back a little bit. So as you can see, same ISBN number, same barcode, um, same Watsi number, same little swirly circle, same little thing. A little offset, a little different there. Let's see if we can try to make them both. So as you can see, first thing is there's two main printings. That's the first thing everybody needs to know about the difference in Mirage. They did that on the booster boxes and the starters. So unfortunately, when it comes to the starters, I don't have the 100 plus boxes I have are all from the same thing. These all have what they call the full seal. There's no circle seal. This is the full seal. And of course, if you look at it, these are all the made in USA versions. Now again, for the starter decks, it's very easy to know. If you get a regular starter deck on a loose box like this, you can take the starter deck and not only can you look at the side and it tells you made in USA right there, Wizards of the Coast, second line. But the biggest standing out thing is the wrapper, and this confuses people, the wrapper is very loose. You hear that? See how it's very loose sounding? It's not super tight. That's what she said. So what happens is, wait, that's what he said? Yeah. So what happens is also, in addition to the wrapper being loose, listen. That is because the cards are actually loose on the inside. There is no inner seal. That noise you're hearing, that ASMR, there's no inner seal. Those are the cards themselves literally bouncing around in the box. So that's another thing that stands out. Um, a kind of a fun little side story, just so a lot of people know. Um, alternate 4th edition was the same type of thing where now again there's not really an alternate Mirage edition but they feel different they have kind of a, a rougher light sandpaper they don't have a glossy feel the USA versus the Belgium cards there's difference but there's no really extra value when you compare the different god that box is cool isn't it isn't that neat looking how tall that thing is I think it just sticks in the air look how big that floppy thing is so there's a huge difference when it comes to that actual type of card and the card stock. But at the end of the day, there's no financial value difference. So let's get Rudy's hairy arm and let's bring in Rudy's black book, his large black book. So we're going to bring that in right now. Okay. And so now that we understand that there's actually different printing kind of variants on this, <coughs> So we don't want to mix up the cards. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to leave these with the blue sleeves because we don't want to mix anything up. So we're going to focus on the Lion's Eye Diamond. Now, on the Lion's Eye Diamond, 
um, on this particular card, the first thing is it is a, it's a legit card. Passes the light test. It just it freaks people out because the back has a different type of like almost like a light textured. It doesn't feel or look the same compared to. I don't know. Let's grab a random magic card over here off the camera. Like when you look at a regular magic card, that looks more like a magic card. Where this kind of has a different type of texture. That's the biggest thing that freaks people out. <laughs> yeah, I got gotcha. you. The next thing is the colors are a little more richer or vibrant, I guess you could say. So when you hold that up and you look that, the, the, the brown on the card is a little bit different even on the front. So, I mean, I can immediately, I don't know how it's going to come up on camera, but I, without even taking out all the Lion's Eye Diamond, I can tell you right now, this one looks like these two to me. The browns are the closest there, and they don't look like these. These look like a different shade of brown. I can tell that does not look like it's matching, and I hope that comes up on the camera. It may not, you guys. So, I can tell these three seem to look the same. This one here versus this one do not. So, we're going to take this guy out. Let's, let's do that. So, that's the first thing. So, here's our test subject. We're going to leave him with the blue sleeves so we don't mix them up. So, when we look at this, obviously, there's not really going to be much difference to most people on camera. But to me, in person, I can tell a difference. So, let's flip them over. And if you notice, they, there is a difference. At least, I don't know how it's going to look to you guys, but to this, the back of this card does not look the... God, hold on, I'm trying to work on the focus here. There you go. The back card on the left card does not look the same as the back on the right card. They don't look the same. But they're both legitimate cards. These are both real cards, but one is the Belgium and one is the USA. If I had to take a guess... God, what is going on with this focus? Sorry, everybody. If I had to take a guess, this is the USA, this is the Belgium. But I'm not 100% on that unless I crack the boxes which I'm really not willing to do at this point in time. So I want to jump over to this. Let's jump over to the one that, you know, I told you guys I think does look like our test subject, which is this richer color one. So if you look at these, these, even the corners, and they look, and the coloring matches a lot better on this particular scenario. So oh, let me uh, leave our test subject. I don't want to mix them up. So we're going to leave him with the blue sleeve. Let's flip them both over. So when you look at it this way, Notice the backs actually look like they match up. Mine's a little bit more worn. This one's a little nicer that the gentleman sent me. So there is that. So let's let's zoom in as close as possible. See if we can actually do this. So besides mine being a little bit more worn, they do have what I like to call kind of matching textures. They both feel and kind of have that kind of, uh, I don't know, that more matte, gritty, soft feel to it. So that's the biggest thing. And I'm going to, so that's about it with the Lion's Eye Diamonds. So to answer your question, this gentleman's name is Edwin. Uh, not Edwin Magic Engineer, Edwin, a different Edwin. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and stop there with the lion's eye. So in my opinion, sir, your card is real. If this is Rudy Authentication Creepy Services, I think the card is real. It's just, it's probably the USA printing variant instead of the Made in Belgium variant. So again, I would assume, by the way, the fact that both these cards were kind of from the same person. And yeah, this has that same type of different feel to it. But it's legit. It has a blue core. It just has a slightly different smell in the ink. And the colors have a slightly different kind of, uh, I don't know, boldness, contrast. So let's uh, let's kind of grab a Phyrexian Dreadnought here. Um, let's see if we can get one that really kind of matches. Um, I don't know if I have. None of these actually match. Because this one's real dark. You can see the difference between those two. And again, Magic did have a lot of variants, you guys. Um, I don't think I have any more Phyrexian Dreadnoughts. Yeah, I don't really have any ones that really match this bright one that the gentleman sent on this particular card. So, I'm going to have to just kind of show you guys. Like, here's mine. If you look at mine right here, this one's actually a little rough looking. If you look at this one, notice the uh, kind of the different type of texture and the, the contrast. Now, you look at the gentleman's card he sent me, it doesn't have that bold. This one actually looks softer to the eyes. It almost looks like it's polished or smoothed out. And it, it kind of freaks people out. And the card is real. So, that's really, it's the same concept. So, that's really all I have to say with the Mirage part. I really, really wanted to show that. And, um, I think that's really about it. I think the rest of this notebook's just, yeah. So, that's a, kind of a fun fact for everybody out there I wanted everybody to learn about is that, again, remember, just because the cards seem a little different, it's because some were printed in Belgium and some were actually printed in the USA. There is a difference. So, reminder, as far as the starter decks go, remember, USA ones... You can hear the cards being damaged by me. Remember, the regular Belgium ones have the inner seal, and they have that kind of a real... They sound like this. You don't really hear much. So, hope you guys learned something today. 
And uh, that's really all I have. Well, that was a perfect 10-minute video. God, oh, that's just impressive. And uh, that's all I got. I appreciate everything, you guys.